those that do come in will be uh, forced to quarantine in a hotel for 10 days. That will be paid for by themselves. So it could easily be 100, 150 pounds a night. Um, paying for uh, extras like alcohol, if they order alcohol through the hotel service. And they won't be able to leave their room during that time. So it's a tough quarantine. And the government feels they need to do this because quarantining at home uh, has, not been, has not been fully complied with. And the government itself has not been able to 100% enforce quarantine at home. So that's why they're taking this measure. How are they going to do it? So are you going to be escorted by police and taken by a bus? It's likely that the process would be uh, a whole flight would be assigned to one hotel. So, for example, if you came in on a flight from Rio de Janeiro, for example, then that whole flight uh, would be taken by coach to a particular hotel. Uh, they'd be escorted and then everybody would be put into that hotel. So there's less risk of transmission between people maybe staying in the hotel who've not come from a high risk area and just happen to be self-isolating in the hotel anyway. So I think they're going to keep one flight to one hotel. Are there going to be any exceptions for people coming from those countries? I think there will still be some exceptions, um, notably military or medical related. But my sense is the government is going to beef up testing even more of anyone coming into the country. If you were in government, how would you have planned the travel quarantine? If I was in government, my strategy would be to put all my resources into world-class testing. So you would test everybody coming into the country. You would uh, carry out quick, rapid lateral flow tests to get an initial uh, test result. But you would also carry out a PCR test. So you get a thorough reading of the state of their health at that time and you get results back within 48 hours. And you may introduce a short quarantine of two days or three days whilst they wait for those results. But for the vast majority of people, they're not infectious and they don't show any symptoms. And I think you've got to find a balance between keeping the economy going, enabling people to certainly carry out work, um, and, and obviously shutting it down, which is what we've been seeing in the last few months. The balance is important, but the solution is through testing of everybody coming into the UK. I don't think hotel quarantine is the answer. We're not like Australia. We're not like New Zealand. We're a very different country. We're highly interconnected. Um, hotel quarantine is certainly mentally very difficult to do for 10 days. Clearly, we need to stop new strains coming into the country. Clearly, we need to support the NHS and the fantastic job they're doing. But a balance does need to be found um, to enable some element of travel to continue for the longer term. And the answer is through world-class testing. How long do you think it's going to last? Is it going to be gradual opening up, like some countries being exempt, some countries being at it? My fear and the fear of the travel sector is that these measures are widened so that more countries are actually added beyond the initial 30 to 35 countries so that um, more countries are added and that puts people off booking. So we need to see an end date to these measures. What's the roadmap out of this? What's the exit plan that the government has in mind? And crucially, what's the economic impact of the measures? Because sadly, they will cause job losses and they will cause some companies to collapse. So I hope that the Chancellor will be able to announce alongside these new measures, plans to support um, jobs and the travel sector in, in a greater way. Uh, the travel sector can't be left just to flounder as, as these measures are introduced. So we need an exit plan, we need an end date, Ideally, we need the government to say these measures will be reviewed by the end of March and hopefully loosened. But what we wouldn't want to see is these measures stay in place for a year as they have been in Australia.